MediGeek's IPA is a packet analysis program for wireless professionals and technicians. It will capture live packets using an Air PCAP NX or Air PCAP Classic. You can also open PCAP files generated from access points, Linux machines, or Mac OS X computers. To create a live capture with an Air PCAP NX, click on the Start tab at the very top. Select the frequency band you would like to capture on and the channel. Click Start Capture and IPA will immediately capture all of the frames on that particular channel. Click Stop and MediGeek's IPA will build multi-layered pie charts based on the data that you have just captured. In this capture we see that there were 27 SSIDs detected as well as 311 clients. IPA can view all of the traffic by any client that is operating on a specific channel. We can see how many bytes were sent in a particular SSID as well as the number of clients associated to that access point as well. Some SSIDs perform better than others, but to investigate why the retry rate was so high, let's look at that particular SSID by double clicking on it. This will render a new multi-layered pie chart with the SSID in the center and the clients on the outside. We can view the retransmit rates per client. This particular client sent the most bytes, had an effective data rate of 11.6 megabits per second, as well as a retransmit rate of 37%. And I can actually view this conversation as it occurred on the channel by clicking the packets tab at the top. Here we see most of the conversation goes data ACK, data ACK, as it should be. We can also view the, which frames had to be retransmitted due to a wireless collision in the 2.4 gigahertz. You can still use the multi-layered pie chart in the packets view to navigate through a capture. Here I can visualize one of the competing SSIDs to see what type of traffic they were sending. Here we mostly see probe responses and beacons as this SSID is mostly inactive. To filter out beacons, deselect them in the subframe filter and it will remove all of the packets that are beacons in the capture. You can watch how the subframe filter changes the entire visuals by toggling the beacons on and off. You can also apply filters based on SSIDs. So if I type MediGeek GN, this will show me all the traffic that belongs to a certain SSID of MediGeek GN. If I would like to view all the traffic that is not MediGeek GN, I can apply a negative filter for MediGeek GN to see all the traffic that did not belong in that service set. The filter bar allows you to filter based on channel, MAC address, data rate, as well as signal strength. In IPA, you can choose different segments of time to see how the wireless packets change in different parts of the capture. IPA will also remember which client you have selected as you visualize it throughout the capture. IPA helps those who need to troubleshoot wireless performance issues by showing them the retransmit rates per client, per SSID, or per subframe type. To learn more about IPA, visit MediGeek's website at www.medigeek.net. Thank you for watching.